How you doing? I'm Tyson Franklin, and this week's video is titled Patients Need Cliffhangers. Let me explain. When we're watching TV shows, like our favorite TV shows, a lot of the times what makes us finish one episode and look forward to the next episode the following week, which is prior to all the uh, streaming services, which is now why we binge, because you'll watch one particular episode and you go, oh, why don't we just watch another one? Oh, why don't we watch another one? Next one, in a night, you can sometimes go through two, three, maybe four episodes of a particular show. And the reason you do that is because the writers, when they finish a particular episode, will leave you with a bit of a cliffhanger that makes you wonder, oh, what's going to happen next? And that just drags you in. And they do it, especially when the season's been renewed and they know there's going to be another season. So they leave a massive cliffhanger at the end. And then you've got to wait this long period of time and you can't wait for the season to restart. Now, if writers can do that for TV shows, then we should be doing the same thing with our patients. And I think it's a really, really important skill to understand and to use in your podiatry business. And how you do that is when, and this is also really important for to teach new graduates and recent graduates. And this is the difference between someone who has a bit of experience and someone who might be a bit newer to the profession, where sometimes they feel they're going to give the patient every bit of the, every bit of information they know, they're going to dump it on that patient. And the patient's just totally confused. Whereas if you give the patient a little bit of information and then let them know there's more information to come, that is creating a cliffhanger. So for example, you might say there's four exercises that you need for this particular problem, which are going to be really, really helpful. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Now, why don't you do them for the next week? And when you come back next week, I'll show you the next, yeah, the third and fourth one. And it makes the patient go, oh, good. Okay. There's something else to look forward to. So they know when they're having the next visit or the next consultation, they are going to learn something new. No different to when you tune to the next week's TV show or the program, you know, you're going to, that the uh, questions going on in your head are going to be revealed. So you need to do that through the whole process. And this is the best way of teaching your patients as well is drip feed them information. Just don't dump all the information on them because it can be overwhelming. And if they get overwhelmed, they may not do anything. Whereas if you give them the information in an orderly fashion, and then let them know, hey, next week when you come back, we're going to do this. Oh, next visit, we're going to do this. Next month, in six months, in 12 months, we're going to be covering some different areas. So I think just create cliffhangers for your patients and have them sitting there going, ooh, I can't wait to find out what that next thing's going to be. So I hope you get something from that. Like you've normally been saying, if you're enjoying these videos, please send me an email, tf at tysonfranklin.com. Give me your feedback or click on the subscribe button below if you're watching this on YouTube and uh, click the notification icon as well. And you'll know whenever any new videos come out. And I always say, tell your podiatry friends these videos exist unless you have none. Okay, that's it for me this week. Well, for this video anyway, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.